Okay, I'm going to talk to you today about what the U.S. government says that they're going to be doing about these fast-track citizenship programs, uh, most of which are in the Caribbean. But I want to go over a couple of things with you uh, for, before we do this. Uh, Dominica, now, of course, everybody's heard, you know, they are lost their visa-free status to the uh, U.K., which uh, I think that's a, a bigger uh, negative than actually losing uh, almost all 30, not quite 30 countries, to the Schengen uh, area because, uh, well, I'll give you an example, I haven't even traveled to the Schengen country since 2008. I go through the UK almost every single year, you know, going to Asia or other places. So to me, that's a bigger uh, knock than, than losing all those uh, Schengen countries. So we'll see if they can ever get it back. Uh, but I'm going to talk to you today about uh, what the U.S. government now is talking about with this uh, with these fast track programs and how they feel about them and it might surprise you what 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 they're actually going to be doing uh, anyway dominica now is introducing a mandatory interview to citizenship by investment investment applicants what they're going to be doing is i guess they want to see you face to face and you're probably less likely to lie about visa rejections uh if you're in person than if you're just doing something you know long distance um, and I'm, I'm sure they'll probably let you use Zoom too, uh, because there's some people that just will not be able to, to travel for some reason, for health reasons or whatever. But um, anyway, uh, of course, Dominica, you know, it's in the Caribbean and it's a Commonwealth nation. Uh, it's got one of the most, it had you know, one of the most popular citizenship by investment programs. But I think this is going to totally change that. I mean, dr dramatically by losing that visa free status to uh, the UK. Uh, and it's just announced that applicants to the program will now have to undergo a, a mandatory personal interviews uh, effective immediately. I mean, this, they're just coming out with this. Now, the move comes as part of a set of measures that aim to increase the program's due diligence process. Also, folks, if you want to legally get around high income taxes or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button, write your screen right here, and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And number two is I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. Number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. Now, they, they're they talking about here that um, they're real serious about uh, being committed to this uh, collective fight to safeguard their respective financial system there in Dominica. Uh, they, you know, they want to uh, basically... Uh, you know, they understand that this step will add another layer to their due diligence process and risk management framework to strengthen and safeguard the integrity of the citizenship by investment program. Now, um, the, implement, in, the implementation uh, of this mandatory interview of applicants for citizenship of the Commonwealth of Dominica is mainly to verify and authenticate the applicant's documents, photocopies against originals, filed in support of the applications and presented at the interview. Now, uh, uh, Dominique, of course, is the first uh, Caribbean nation to introduce the personal interview measure with applicants uh, can conduct in person or, or, or virtually, but other countries are, are going to be soon to be expected to follow suit. So you're going to see all five of the countries, I promise you, are going to come out with this by far. Uh, I'll, uh, all the Caribbean programs will be doing this, uh, according to Christoph uh, Vardikos. He's a, a Greek lawyer and consul of the Commonwealth of Dominica to Greece. And the interview is part of the requirement from the U.S. to increase due diligence. He adds, referring to an agreement established in February 2023 between the U.S. and the presidents of five Caribbean nations, including Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, St. Lucia, and St. Kitts and Nevis. Now, the agreement which was reached in St. Kitts in attendance of the uh, Anna Morris uh, U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Treasury for Global Affairs introduces a, coll a collaborative uh, risk management framework for the island's popular citizenship by investment programs, stipulate six citizenship by investment rules to increase the Caribbean program's due diligence and security. Now, you know, what are the six citizenship by investment rules agreed they're going to be agreed upon uh, between the U.S. and the Caribbean nations? Now, in addition to conducting personal interviews with applicants, all five Caribbean nations 
have also agreed to start running extensive financial intelligence checks on applicants rejecting applicants who were denied from other citizenship by investment programs, introducing regular auditing practices, uh, working with uh, international law enforcement to retrieve revoked passports. Uh, finally, Caribbean nations agreed to enforce a ban on Russian and Belarusians applicants to their citizenship by investment program starting March the 31st, 2023. So this is already in force. Moreover, the uh, five nations also agreed to convene within five months, uh, excuse me, within six months to assess the uh, status of the implementation of the new rules. Now, the U.S. has since made it clear that it doesn't intend to end the program. This is the part I'm going to tell you about here that this is important. Okay? Uh, the U.S. Uh, has made it clear that they don't intend to end the citizenship programs. We're talking about the Fast Track and the other programs. Uh, they know that this was a slip up in the system, uh, but again, uh, that they have no intentions of ending the programs altogether for the negative impact that it would have on these nations, economies, and lead to unforeseen negative consequences. Uh, decide uh, instead to work collaboratory, uh, collaboration uh, to uh, introduce tighter security and regulations that make the program safer for all parties. So the ones out here that thought the U.S. wanted to try to close these down, uh, they don't want to do it. They, they see it, as it would hurt the countries too much. And I know in St. Kitts, the number of, number one uh, industry is tourism. Number two is citizenship by investment. And they both go hand in hand. And so what they're trying to do is work with these countries and trying to, you know, ditch these problems out the window by just making a few little changes. So, uh, you know, I, I don't see the U.S. or the EU really making any big changes like coming in and trying to close these programs down. Anyway, the new rules expected to add to the Caribbean citizenship uh, 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 by investment attractiveness are the following. The implementation of the new rules is expected to increase the appeal of the region's citizenship by investment programs, which are already some of the most popular in the world. In particular, the programs of Dominique and St. Kitts and Nevis have been named as the two best programs for 2022 by Citizenship by Investment Index, published by the Financial Times, based on a set of criteria that includes certainty of product, standard of living and due diligence, among others. Now, that what you're going to see is you're going to see Dominica not in the next one that they publish because they've lost it. They're going to be uh, losing a lot of popularity because losing that visa-free status to the UK. Uh, and they might even lose it to the uh, Schengen areas, too. I'd be more concerned with the UK, like I said, than the Schengen countries, which is just under 30 countries. Uh, now, according to Bloomberg, the due diligence process in Dominica is particularly praised for uh, adopting a, a multi-layered approach and for being conducted by globally renowned risk agencies, mostly based in the U.S. and U.K. Now, thus, the introduction of the new measures is seen by industry experts as uh, further cementing the program's popularity and reputation. Now, Dominica has always had a vigorous due diligence process, but since people are becoming cl more clever as time passes on, you always have to improve the process to get ahead of the game to counteract and to be able to identify fraudulent misrepresentation through whatever means that's being uh, employed to uh, gain unfair advantage. Therefore, it's expected that Dominica will do more in-depth uh, investigation, including making use of more sophisticated uh, intel and cyber investigators to, uh, to ascertain that the integrity of the information and documentation being presented to it uh, in support of one's application. Now, um, you know, uh, like I said, you know, by having this knocked out, the UK, uh, it's going to, if they, people that are uh, from Dominica that are citizens that don't have another passport they're traveling on, by the way, this is another reason you ought to be carrying, you know, uh, multiple passports if something like this happens, because you don't want to be stuck in a situation where you can't. You have to get visas everywhere you go. Uh, so you need to be looking around. Don't depend strictly on these fast tracks, especially if you're a U.S. citizen and you relinquish your other U U.S. citizenship and then you go on one of these fast track programs. Uh, one that I like, there's two of them I, I like particularly if you're looking at getting a residency. Uh, let's say you have another fast track program outside of St. Kitts. Or let's say you're not planning on getting a fast track. You just want a slow track program. St. Kitts has got one of the best residency by investment programs in, in the world. Not citizenship, 
said residency by the investment. They've got a, the best, uh, I think, across the board, citizenship by investment, but I also think they have the best residency by investment because uh, there's no income tax, no capital gains tax, no state tax, no inheritance tax. They allow dual citizenship, no military requirements. Uh, you can get the passport. If you decide you, you don't want to wait 14 years on the residency uh, you know, period to apply for the passport, you can go with the fast track and get the citizenship as quick as uh, 45 to 60 days. Very few countries in the world can you change in mid-course if you're in a residency by investment, and then if you say, hey, I don't want to wait for that, I'm going to get a citizenship investment in this country, you can just change, change courses and just go ahead and go through the fast track real quick. And like I said, St. Kitts has got the quickest one in the Caribbean with the largest number of visa-free countries you can go to. And with this new uh, big discount they've got, you know, this is a time to be going in while this discount is still in force. If you want to know more on this, folks, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right on your screen right here, and you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.